Today I'm gonna pit two 3D printers against each other in a deathmatch race to the finish where two printers enter and only one emerges victorious. Really, I'm just gonna set a stopwatch as they print some cats. My name is Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, and today I'm going to test out the Monoprice Select Mini and Monoprice Delta Mini 3D printers to just see which one prints fastest. I've been doing a lot of videos about these two printers lately, which I'll link to down below, and in pretty much any video that I mention with the Delta, I talk about how fast it is as a printer, and I've had several people then ask how much faster is it than the Mini. A lot of people try to choose between these two printers, and speed kind of makes a difference. So I put together a very unscientific test where using the exact same Hatchbox PLA filament, I had each printer print the exact same file, which just happened to be the cat file that comes with the printer. And both prints were also printed on the glass beds that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link to that right here in this area. I'll put some links down below as well if you want to buy them for yourself. They're Amazon affiliate links. They do help support this channel. And there's also a 15% off code if you want to get 15% off these glass beds. Now I had fully expected the Delta to be faster than the Mini, but what I didn't expect was for it to print a higher quality print than the Mini. That was kind of shocking to me. So my first test was a little bit inaccurate. I just went to each printer and printed the default cat model that came on each SD card. And the Select Mini completed its cat print in two hours and 55 minutes, where the Delta Mini completed its cat print in one hour and 16 minutes. So that's a huge difference. Now, there's also a difference because as you can see, these are not the same size print. So the overall print quality on these is about the same, but I guess because the Delta Mini's build plate is much smaller than the Select Mini, the default cat model that comes with it is set to a smaller scale than the one on the Select Mini. So even though those were default settings, which you would think would be the optimal settings for the printers, it didn't seem like an accurate test since the cats are two different sizes. So I had the Delta Mini print another cat model that's the same size as the one the Select Mini printed, and this took two hours and 25 minutes on the Delta Mini, so about a half hour less than the Select Mini. But what really blew me away is that the print quality on this one from the Delta is way better than the one from the Select Mini. Even somebody who has no experience 3D printing could look at the two of these and clearly tell a difference in quality. They're both solid prints, especially for $200 and under printers, but the one from the Delta is really, really high quality. It looks like something the Prusa would have put out. And so this kind of leads to a strange predicament because the Delta now prints faster, again, 30 minutes faster to print this over this, and the quality is better. However, in setting up these printers for this test, I was also reminded how much easier it is to print on the Select Mini. That printer was just up and ready and ready to go right away, whereas the Delta Mini had a clogged nozzle and then sometimes when you press print instead of printing, it just retracts all the filament out of the printer. So it ended up taking like four tries before I actually got the print to work properly. And then once it was going, everything was perfect, but it was definitely a lot more frustrating to get it to that point than it was on the Mini, which was just turn on, push a button, and you're done. And so I'm still continually impressed by the Delta Mini, but I still would recommend the Select Mini as a first printer over the Delta. I definitely think the Delta is a fun second or third printer, especially if you don't mind kind of playing around with it a little bit. But for your first printer, it would probably be a little bit too frustrating to deal with, even though it does give very fast and very good results. So I hope that was a helpful speed print comparison between these two really popular printers. Let me know your experience, your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will catch you guys next time.